So we're, I'm about ready to introduce Tushar Gandhi. He's calling in from, Gan, uh, from India. So here's an opportunity to hear directly from a family member uh, about Mahatma Gandhi. Thank you. Hello, Tushar. Can you say it again? Say it again, please. Yeah. In 1930, uh, at the end of the short march, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, my great grandfather, sent out a message to the world. And he said, uh, I want world sympathy in this uh, battle of right against might. Uh, 60 years after his assassination. The battle for nonviolence and peace is a battle of right against might. And it can only succeed if everyone who believes in peace and nonviolence all over the world comes together and stands in solidarity against the forces of war and tyranny. And that is the message that we must continuously bring back to the world because the world cannot have enough of uh, those the words that were, as Bapu said, uh, not his inventions, but uh, as old as the hills and the uh, rivers, and as ancient as human civilization. Uh, today when we stand at, on the brink where uh, violence of all forms against human beings and against nature has brought our very existence on this earth in question, we need to reaffirm our belief and faith in nonviolence and peace, whether it is nonviolence between human beings or nonviolence between human beings and nature or other God's creations. We need to pledge to live a life of nonviolence and peace. And attempts like the Gandhi tour are what the world requires to remind them that peace and nonviolence are something that are not needed by the human beings themselves, but by the entire world, because uh, otherwise, as Gandhi said, uh, an eye for an eye will only end up making the whole world blind. And so today, again, I think the clarion call needs to go out, and this battle of right against might has to be fought with new vigor. Thank you very much for being there and spreading this voice of nonviolence and peace and strengthening the cause for which Gandhi and Martin Luther King uh, gave up their lives and uh, for which Nelson Mandela lives today as the shining icon. Thank you and may peace be with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please look at one another because today you are a part of history. Our Gandhi has spoken again in Kingsley Hall. Never forget that. We have a word here from Lord Attenborough. Yeah, Richard, um, <clears throat> I just put it in the context. Clearly, the Gandhi Foundation was established after Richard um, Attenborough's film in 1982. So we were set up in 1983, um, and Richard is life president. So in context, I think Richard uh, Attenborough should be seen as the man who reignited um, the idea of nonviolence and uh, obviously brought Gandhi's life to millions and millions of people around the world. He's now 85, and he's still making films. Uh, I called him the other day, and he wrote this. He sent this message for me to read out. I am devastated that production involvement prevents me from joining you today. Nothing can be more important than the advocacy of the principle of nonviolence, and I would wish all concerned every possible success in achieving our magnificent objectives. Richard. 